Smartphone Projector 2, Cinema in a Box. I was sent this from a telecom firm. Um, I think it's some sort of marketing exercise, but quite interesting to see what it does. So um, let's open this up and assemble it. It's a smartphone projector, version 2 nonetheless. Uh, looks like you need to have um, some whiskey with it when you use it. But it's basically just a cardboard um, little projector device. So um, what it probably has is just some box inside. And as you can see there, you just slot your phone in. And uh, at this end, you'll probably have some sort of lens. And then what you'll do is you'll just uh, play a movie on there, on your phone. Um, and it'll obviously just reflect all the light through the lens onto a wall. So let's open it up. Ah, it's quite nicely packaged. I've got some instructions here. Not sure where version 1 went, but uh, never saw that one. So there we go, you can see we've got um, some lens instructions there, how to position it, how to place your phone in, and um, you know, rough distances. What does this mean? Don't get wet. Rinse gel pad under running water to renew its stickiness. Okay, so your phone's got some sort of sticky um, back area. Then you need to rotate your image, of course, because it'll be upside down. Make sure your brightness is at the full, and your volume at the maximum as well, because you're not going to have any subwoofer element here. Uh, distance is 0 to 1 meter, and I presume you've got to have a completely black room as well, completely dark. Um, and then if you want to, you can download the application they've got there. It looks like it's Android and iOS, so you can download their application to, uh, to do some rotation and reverse for the image, because of course it'll be upside down. Let's have a look inside. Aha, this looks pretty cool. Okay, so here's the projector itself, if you like. Got some cool little pictures on the back just to make it look like a actual device, actual electronical device. Um, yeah, some adjustments for focus, etc., which are all just, you know, pretend, of course. Well, that looks very smart. I like it. What's that on the side there? Some more adjustments and zoom look. Um, so yeah, so which way up does it go? I think this is the bottom. Oh yeah, just reminding you there, look uh, what you're supposed to do. Brightness, etc, volume. So, ah, so the phone goes in the back there. So then you just tilt that back and I presume the sticky pad will go onto here. And then the lens will pop out of here. So, what have we got here? Excuse the one-handed operation. Okay, we'll open that up. That feels like the lens. Oh, there we go, we've got just a, a tube here. So I'm guessing this will go in here and you can adjust that backwards and forwards to focus the image. Because none of this, of course, on the front here works. That's all just pretend. Hmm, okay, let's open this envelope up. Okay, envelope open. Let's have a look. Tip it out. You get it. Come on. Right. Oh, here we go. So first thing, oh, looks like a washer or a gasket, probably to fix bits and pieces in. It's like a lucky dip, this is. Uh, there's your pads. Look. So this is what holds your phone to the back. So they're just uh, little sticky little pads you can just peel off. 3M. Look. Yeah, nice quality. So they would go on here. You would just stick, you know, for whatever you want to look there, just to stop your phone sliding around. Ah, the lens. And another one of these, probably front and back. Done. So let's have a look at this then. Let's have a look at this uh, lens. Oh, check out that, an actual lens. This is indeed um, glass, so check out that. A zoom edge going on there, that's pretty cool. Cool effect. So yeah, that will go in there. Um, I'm not quite sure yet how that works. I'll look at the instructions. Uh, 
Now uh, there we go, look, so make sure the lens is the right, right way around. And I'm presuming then you'll just put the gasket in there somewhere to stop it from sliding about. Okay, let's give that a go. Okay, well that took a long time to put that in, that was frustrating. Um, trying to put that lens into there was really, really difficult. Uh, I've managed to get it in now, but um, yeah, it, of course every time you put it in it would just carve up the cardboard, even if I was really careful. And of course I've covered it in fingerprints, so I had to clean that as well, but um, yeah, it's in now, and it's as level as I can make it, I think. I might just need a bit more of adjustment. But yeah, so that's in, and of course it's, um, you know, the concave side is there on the outside, so... Now we're going to put that into here, and of course you've got these here, one on the front, one on the back to stop the thing falling out every time you adjust it, um, as per the picture here. So that's our end result. So let's get that assembly done as well. Okay, there we are. So the projector is completely assembled. So as you can see there, we've got oh, a band just on the front there, so if I need to adjust that lens, just push it in. And of course you can push it out as well because there's an elastic band at the bottom, so you can just push that as well. So the next bit really is just to uh, get some of these on and stick a phone in and then find a dark room and see what happens. But uh, yeah, there we go, that's basically how it works. Um, I'm not sure how well that's going to work because you'll probably want it at a particular angle. Unless you go right up, I don't know, we'll have a look. So I'll have a little play with that. And then obviously yeah, just adjust just that as you see fit. Let's push that through. Quite nice and tight so it's not too bad, but you can see it's a little bit front heavy. So it's a bit floppy. There you can adjust it so like that. Pretty cool. Yeah. Smart frame projector two assembled. So let's get a phone in there and see how it looks. Okay, yep, so I thought these were individual ones, but they're not, of course, they're, that's just one big pad. So, um, you stick that in, and then hopefully we can adjust that, why is that stuck? That's the joy with cardboard, isn't it? It's come out too far, there we go. So, do that, get a phone. Place the phone in there, which of course is going to be probably far too heavy, and then I don't know somehow. Do you see that? Maybe, and then it plays. So interesting. That's going to be very heavy there. But... Probably would be better just to have some sort of little sleeve. Um, and I suppose this is the best way to stop anything on the screen, isn't it? But... Yeah, okay, let's just see what happens with that then. So the next video will probably be somewhere dark, I suppose. Might have to wait till night time. Um, but there we go, that's basically how it should look. You play your video, play your movie or whatever. And then it projects through the lens. And that is supposed to fire onto a wall. Of course, a brick wall's not going to be any good, is it? So we're going to need some nice white wall. So here it is working. Um, it's pretty bright considering. So just playing a video there. Um, I haven't used the app. I'm not sure if I uh, have read all the reviews for it yet, but uh, there we go. Um, there's a hand just to show perspective. Uh, actually, it's pretty clear actually. It's very clear in fact. Let's just turn on the light. So you can see there's the box. There's a distance. So, yeah, if I go a bit further back, that's even bigger again. So, pretty clever. That's not bad. So, that's all playing through there. In fact, there we go, you can see that midge inside. Pretty groovy. So, there we are. Um, here it is completed. I know it's very dark, so I'm up to illuminate this a little bit, but uh, just if you see my hand there, this is firing against the wall, and it, yeah, I haven't put the app on, I haven't even begun to, begin to look at that yet, but uh, there's the image. Let's just turn the light on. 
there we go and uh, here was the box so pretty good that's actually worked very well actually considering so yeah I'm quite surprised that actually works as well as it does I mean it's not completely in focus um, and it does take a bit of fiddling about just to adjust the uh, zoom the barrel but once you've done that that's actually pretty good very good quality actually so yeah pretty happy with that